excited. Oh, and the gentleman just walked around. Do you know why? Today I'm hanging out with the girls, man. Let me just say that. I'm hanging with the girls. Show some love, man. I have, 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 have two charming ladies in the house, man. And they are doing some amazing stuff. And uh, uh, it's such a pleasure to hang out with both of them. The first one, you may have seen her on BBC or CNN. I don't know where you saw her this one. But she's a DJ. And she's the youngest DJ in the world. Show some love for that, man. <laughs> Maybe you know her. I'm sure you've heard of her name. She is DJ Switch. But before she comes on, DJ, give me something small. Ghana's youngest female Just DJ, love. DJ Switch. <laughs> Switch, how are you doing? I'm fine. And you. Fantastic. We're going to be talking today, man, a lot. But I'm going to be introducing another person. So you you go here, and then she'll come and join when she comes here. And uh, another person in the house, put your hands together. Show some love for Poetra Asante. <laughs> oh. 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 Asante. 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 Poetra Asantua. Well, some of you will remember her, you know, because she's been on this platform before. And she was doing the spoken word. Do you, do you still do spoken word? Yes, I do. You I do? Still do? Okay. And you just came back from a tour? I just came back from London, from the Lyft Festival, where I was performing. I was the second West African artist who was performing on their platform. It's a festival that happens every two years mm. for international artists. Mm. How did you get invited? They, they saw um, you through? Yeah, so there was a process in which there, there was an invitation and... Um, they screened my work and then I was picked. 
Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. Show some love, man. <laughs> for, uh, <laughs> Did you switch? Yeah. Wow. How old are you? I'm 10. You're 10? Yeah. And do you know her? The first time meeting her? Yeah. Mm. She does spoken word. I hear you do poetry too. Yeah. Yeah? Wow. wow. So you didn't come here for a poetry. You came here for, <laughs> for your switching. So we'll get to that. But um, poetry, I have you here today because like I said, it's, today it's not about the spoken word. You're doing some amazing things that I found out that you are the brain behind is it a company or a group called Yobbins? Yes, it's a company with a solid team behind it called Yobbins. And um, it started three years ago. Um, and it's pretty much a design company that makes greeting cards as well as other stuff. But uh, the main product is greeting cards. Greeting cards. And what sets us apart from everybody else is that we make cards tailored to the community and tailored to the current events that are happening. And so that's the crux of the yeah, evidence. Yeah, yeah. And as a matter of fact, that's what caught my attention, folks. So you go and buy cards, and uh, they are all, you know, very European, very, very non ghanaian It's the general birthday wishes. But, the, you know, then I stumbled onto this card, and um, I saw this card. Listen to this card. It says, happy birthday. You are Jolov in a world full of plain rice. <laughs> <First of all>. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you're not in a world full of play rights. I said, this is different, man. And then, you know, more and more, I was stumbling onto this beautiful card, as you can see on the screen. It says, I they feel you pass. I they feel you pass. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> so, 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 this was there, then you have the other ones there, you know. The, the, I brought for someone, the general European one. I said, ah, me feel it. So, let me get this one. That, so then then I, I did my own research and I found out that. The person behind this has actually been on the set before. And that's how I got in touch. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, so you're doing, the focus is on? The focus is on the Ghanaian community. The focus is on Accra, whether it's Accra, whether it's Tema, whether it's Nima. The focus is on communities or groups of people mm -hmm. or current events or politics or whatever okay. is happening in the environment. That's what inspires the creation mm -hmm. of the work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one, this one, <laughs> this one said, Charlie, I feel, Charlie, you day form. <laughs> you day form. So who's behind this? You have a whole, you have a whole team yes, sitting down creating team, this stuff? Yes, we have a whole team, yes. So we have, I have a design team, I have a marketing team, and we have a, a writing team as well. Mm, and so mm. there's a whole team mm, behind mm. it. Yes. And how's it doing on the market? Is like... It's, it's doing pretty well. We started small, we had just three outlets. And now we have almost 20 outlets. Really? <laughs> well, that's impressive. Yeah. And then, uh, how, how's the money? It's, it's, it's been good. It's been good. It's grown from a small business mm -hmm. that was not making profits to breaking even to making profits. Oh, so it's great. Grown, so you've been yeah. through the whole mill. Yes. You weren't real making real profit, business. then you started breaking even. And, then now and now you're making profit. Making profit. Yes. So it's Fantastic. Grown. Yes. So who do you work with? Um, for example, if Safa says, I want to engage you so that you design something mm -hmm. for my clients, mm -hmm. is that possible? Yes, that's very possible. So I work with companies as well to make custom designs. And it's a whole process. You don't just pick a design. We go through a consultation process. Um, we brainstorm together mm -hmm. until the, the mm -hmm. product or the design is up to the standard or fits the narrative or the story that you want to tell. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we always say is that we are telling stories that connect both the client to their customers. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so that's, we work with clients, companies as well mm -hmm. for design mm -hmm. purposes. Show some love. Fantastic. You just switch. <laughs> You know, the first time I heard of you was uh, somebody coming from the U.S. and was asking me whether I know DJ Switch. I said, hey, you are in the U.S., you're asking me whether I know DJ Switch. As, as JJ would say, who born dog? <laughs> 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 so this is what I heard, that um, you do poetry sometimes. Yeah. And then there was uh, Talented Kids. Yeah. And you were thinking of going to do poetry. Yeah. But your mom decided... There are too much poetry, so maybe yes, you should concentrate should on DJing. Yeah. And before then, you had never done that. Yeah, it, it was just that time. If it wasn't talented, kids, that I've never seen the console before. Wow. You have never seen the console? Yeah, and at that time, I did not even know the, the start menu in a laptop. 
before you went for the, you, you, you were totally clueless. <laughs> yeah. And so, well, why then did you decide to go into an area where you were so new to? As we all say, it's a gift. And I'm a kind of person that if you teach me something, I can also add my creativity and do it so that it can be better. Wow. Wow. Mm. So you decided to go for Talented Kids and you decided to go and compete as a DJ? Yeah. And I, it took me five days to learn the DJing for the audition. Before then you had never DJed? No. It took five days? Yeah. You, you, you're a genius, eh? Thank you. <laughs> Oh, you're never seen even a start button on a computer. So, yeah. how, how do you, wh who, who do you go and learn with? Who, who taught you? My mommy sent me to, you know, those bars, and we got a DJ, and the DJ taught me. Oh, just, just so you can go and do the audition? Yeah. How did your mom decide that? Why, how did you pick DJing? Because in the house, she saw that I am someone that, let's say, we are here, we are watching television right now, and let's say it's, it's a cartoon. Then let's say we say Frozen, then Frozen is singing. After we all watched the cartoon, and we are doing something else, then I'll be singing the song they showed, and she, she saw that, no, I'm someone that likes songs. Mm -hmm. And I'm also someone that can dance, someone that can recite poet. So she got confused whether I should go as a poet, mm. as a dancer, singer. as a singer, and said, no, let me try my hands on DJ. Wow. <laughs> if I see my DJs also like songs. Mm -hmm. So anything relating to a song is, is all the same as dancing, singing, and all that. Where, where do you go to school? I attend Talented Royals International School. Talented Royal International School. But I attended Ideas Junior College, that's my formal school mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Western region. Mm -hmm. Some so, of that is. Yeah. So when your mom sent you there and you met the person for the first time, how did, were they surprised to see this little girl coming to be a DJ? What, what was their reaction? Actually, when my mommy called the DJ to teach me, the DJ took me through the laptop and I picked everything on the laptop and when my mommy was coming to pick me home, she said, no, from the way I've picked everything on the laptop today, she believes I can learn it. So the next day, uh, I took the four days for the console and the last day we rehearsed the last day, fat, rehearsed from morning to evening, almost evening. And for the last day to the audition, my trainer was confused and he was like, so is she really going to do it or she has forgotten? Mm. And she said, okay, from the way she's acting, I mean, she, he even said, oh no, when I told the girl I'm going to buy water, she should rehearse. She went to press some parts on the console and she told me what it does. So I've also learned from her because every, we learn from people. I'm also learning from him. Did you He's know, how did you know him. how that button works? You know, children. You can <laughs> if, if, lesson, if the camera made that cup, to handle. Okay, I'll say, they will tell me, just hold the cup. Yeah. Then I'll turn the cup, I'll yeah. be reading what's on it. So that's what I did. They said, rehearse on what the playlist mm -hmm. I've given you. Mm -hmm. Then I will just go and press some buttons, see what it will do to the song. And when he came, I told him. And I love the confidence that yeah, she has yeah. and um, I'm also very appreciative that her mother recognizes her potential and is tapping into it and encouraging her Fantastic. and I feel like all parents should be like that. Fantastic. Show some <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really amazing, you know, it's, 
it's a different thing knowing that your child is talented and it's a different thing actively participating. Exactly. Wow. It's great. So how are you with your mom? Does she make you do more things? Uh, what, what's exactly? Well, you know, as a DJ, you need to listen to songs, make your playlist. But it's not all time you need to listen to songs. You also need to focus on your books because it's weekdays. Mm. And you need to listen to the songs to maybe make your playlist on weekends or holidays, mm. May times, vacations, mm. so that you can make your own playlist for it to be, as someone would say, fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> And, 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 and as a matter of fact, uh, I mean, I've, I've, I've met the mom and I'm lobbying to be the first to, to, to interview her because I think she's really fascinating, you know, because like uh, Portra said, you know, there, there are mothers there, you know, and even fathers there, but it takes something special to see a talent in a child and decide, I'm going to make sure you pursue this, and which is what she has done and done absolutely well. So... But I want to say something mm, go ahead. to mothers or parents out there. Mm -hmm. How they can discover a talent in their world is, let's say, right now, let's say you're my, I'm your daughter mm -hmm. and we are all talking. You tell me to go and buy water. There you go. Erica, go to this, let's say, go to Auntie AC, go and buy me water. Mm -hmm. Then I say, okay, dad, you go. I'm going, let's say your child knows he, uh, he or she can sing. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Daddy sent me to go and buy water. Daddy sent me to go and buy water. So in the form of that, you can see that your child is, is a singer. Wow. You can also discover that then. That, like, to discover as a dancer, let's say you are there and y your parents are conversing, then your daddy will be like, like they are singing mansa mansa then yeah. mansa mansa <laughs> daddy said mansa mansa daddy said mansa and also to be as a poet to discover as a poet your daddy will say there's a proverb like if you put yourself in hot water that means you're in trouble mm -hmm. and uh, I've always been telling you you see, today, you place yourself in hot water. Then you go to school. You say, go and recite a poem. You recite blah, 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 blah. I said, Marine Sema may be king. That you didn't say. What do you I say so shame. That, like, but it's, it's really right, you know. I mean, what she's saying is that parents look out for little, little things that your kids do and you'll be surprised what's in there. Your reaction to that? Pay attention to what your children are interested in mm -hmm. or what they are practicing and, and then harness the very little things. Mm -hmm, the very it's little very things. insightful of her mother to decide, let's try DJing, knowing that she loved songs mm -hmm. and dancing mm -hmm. and just fusing those things together and saying let's try djing it was very very insightful mm -hmm. of the mother so mm -hmm. when you're growing up did you was there signs that you you be a uh, spoken what where, 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 where were the more of a writer oh, right because i, I okay. used to take empty books empty mm -hmm. exercise books and write and fill them up with my own writings and that's how my my mom always knew that i loved writing both mm. parents knew so mm. they were always but i have i still i still receive empty note pads as birthday gifts because they knew that that's You're what started mm. here so it's mm. it's noticing the little things where they are interested mm -hmm. in and harnessing mm -hmm. it yeah mm -hmm. so parents this is so 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 important you know we we tend to focus on the main conventional approach and if your child deviates from that ah you know but they are telling us that please pay attention to the little things because you never know. You never know. Wow, this is fantastic. I'm going to take a commercial break and uh, DJ Switch, you're going to play a song for us as we go into commercial break. Yeah. Then we'll come back and have some more talking. What are you going to play for us? Go and do, do me some more. <laughs> DJ Switch, I just don't want my eye cause I see many many times this one Bafira La la li li la lo La la li li la lo le Bafira I just don't want my eye cause I see many many times this one 
Cause I see many, many cars This one, many, many guys Barnet on the Yeah man Show them how we get done Ow! Put them on them, we bust up the thing Tell us show them how we get done Let's go The Swag DJ DJ Switch I say I do me, I do me, I do me a shrub, yeah You know we say I be better past anybody They say we sure, we sure And your boy, and your boy, no Ah, DJ Switch, and now I'm a maniac So make you do your best, and use your sense I saw the stress since I put up first Charlie, it no be raised, it no be test And Jack guy to no one can test uh, So make you tell him So we need come to the fear of Baba got it for my size and no shake it Pause and when we come back, we'll still be there. Stick around, we'll be right back.